Um, hello, it's Simon de I'm uh, the Medical Director of the Royal College of GPs Research and Surveillance Centre. I'm just going to talk through the process of um, taking uh, a nasal and uh, pharyngeal swab for virology surveillance. And I have uh, one of my colleagues who's kindly volunteered um, to be part of this uh, process. So key things that you need for, for taking the swab are the, um, the virology swabs. You also need to have a medium bottle. Um, the order I usually do things in, having taken the information on our form, is to make sure I've got the swabs to hand the medium bottle and that I write the patient's name on the label that we then uh, attach to the bottle. You know, some practices have labelled printers that are able to do this. Having uh, labelled the virology specimen bottle, I then uh, remove the, the top and I generally do the nasal specimen first. So we open from the, the, the swab and take it. As you point out, people, there's a little notch on the swab here, which is designed for when you break off the swab, which you'll see, see later. Now, to do a nasal swab, what I usually do is standing up nice uh, um, and, um, and have the patient sitting. I usually ask the patient to wind up just gently opening your mouth and breathing through your mouth, and get the patient to breathe through the mouth. And I usually put a thumb very gently on the nose and look for whichever is the biggest nostril, which in this case is on the right. And then this, the, the, the swab just goes in absolutely flat and straight on the line of the roof of the mouth. You just slide in very slowly into the post-nasal space and take the specimen like that. Then taking the specimen into the bottle where that little groove is, break it off and twist it and that's the first specimen done. Then go on to take the um, pharyngeal swab. Again, you can ask the patient just look up towards the ceiling for me, just head back back, and just open your mouth as wide as you possibly can. Just head back a little bit more if you can. Just open your mouth wide as you can, that's marvellous. And then again, I just tend to look for the side where the tongue is lowest, and just take it off the posterior pharyngeal space, and then again, just break that off into the bottle again. If you look for that little groove, it's um, easy to uh, break off. Pop the lid on that. That will then go into the, um, the um, container which it goes to the uh, laboratory uh, in. Um, and that's that process completed.